I am Pat Miller, and this segment is on Copy That, using imitation to, ta to train dogs. And of course, it's a uh, step off from Claudia Fugaz's Do As I Do work, which is just amazing. And that's me and Bonnie. All right, so what we're going to do in the next two hours is we're going to take a brief look at the history of imitation training in dogs and what we thought we knew then and what we think we know now. We're going to explore the cognitive pieces of imitation training. We're going to look at the three phases of imitation training and then we're going to play with dogs. You start with phase one. In phase one, ideally, you want your dog to know three behaviors other than the starting position, and you start all three behaviors from the same position. So your dog needs to know three behaviors solidly on verbal cue with no prompts. That's way harder than you might think, <laughs> all right? It's very humbling. I had to do this. I did this with my dog, Bonnie, for my whole dog journal article, and you don't realize until you try how much even slight body language you use to cue your dog down. How many of us, when we cue down, stand here without moving our head, no shoulders, no, no arms? How many of you don't go down, even just a little bit? You can't do any of that. You want your dog to go sit on the platform over there? You can't go step. You can't go up, you can't go platform, you have to go platform, <laughs> all right? So that's the first hurdle, and it's harder than you might think. So good job to those of you that are willing to be our little sacrificial lambs today, because we will see how difficult that is, even for very, very good trainers. Right? This is the end of day two of a two-day workshop. And again, this is still phase one. Go get a bag. Um, maybe get one more good one and then oh, time to get them a break. Okay, yeah. yeah. Copy. 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 Bake. Wait. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Wait. Anyway. Wait. Okay. <laughs> You did, copy. that's okay. He knew what you meant. Yay. <laughs> Very nice. Copy. Get your card. Uh -huh. Nice. Okay. And now let's end with the spin because she does that one really easily. Good. Okay, very nice. Yeah, that's right. Could be really dangerous. Your dog could go get the keys, start the car, and drive away. So yeah, or unlock the front door and go running around the neighborhood, right? Yeah. Have parties while you're gone. Open the refrigerator, pop open a beer, right? I had a client who wanted her dog to pay, take a beer out of the, yeah, I have a client who's teaching her dog to do that. And they forgot that they needed to take the towel off the head. They forgot to take the towel off and they came home and the dog had raided the refrigerator, yes. right? Yeah. And they didn't want to put baby locks on it. Yeah, they didn't want to put locks on it. So they were duct taping it closed. Duct taping it closed to keep the dog out of the, be careful what you teach, all right? All right, thank you all. I had a great time. Spectacular dogs in this workshop.